Happy to see you making yourself at home. I just checked in with the clinic. How's Robin? Doing well. They even got her to eat something. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. And what about you? Was your return a pleasant surprise for Miss Devine? If you had knowledge of Heather's whereabouts, why didn't you contact the police? There wasn't time. Todd, what the hell is going on? Are you going to tell her or should I? Tell me what? Nothing. John's just being dramatic. If, as you say, you had a private investigator tracking Heather, why wouldn't he have told you? Well, maybe he thought it was your job to go find the psycho. Knock it off. Your PI didn't find this hotel room. What the hell are you getting at, John? If not his PI, then who? Heather Weber did. There's gotta be some way out of here. Heather! Heather! Give me my son! Sam. Unfortunately, your son is no longer with us. Oh my God, Jason, it's for the end. Look at him, look at my little boy. And they call me crazy. This is not your baby. It's over, Heather. You know what you did? Yeah. Yeah, Heather, Heather, she pushed me. She just got the baby up on the roof. Sam and Jason went after her. Go, let me go. No, no, I'm not going anywhere until someone takes a look at you. Now we need some help in here. Olivia got in the way as usual. I didn't really have much choice. I had I'm to push it out. Talking about Olivia, and you know it. I had a little boy, a beautiful, healthy little boy, and you switched him for a dead one. You made me think my son was dead. I spent months grieving for him. Please, just give me back my baby, please. Now that's baby. more like it. You know, I'm always telling you to say please and thank you. It's never too early to start, you know. Oh, I will get on my hands and knees and beg. Please give me my son back. Nah. That won't be necessary. What's it gonna take? Uh, anything, please. What do I want? Oh, so many things. It's, it's hard to know which thing I want most. Heather? What will it take for you to give us the baby? It was far from pleasant with Anna initially. And I'm sure she was shocked to see you alive. It was a lot for her to take in. It was more than that. She didn't believe me. She thought I was an imposter. She threatened to arrest me. How ironic. But after a while, she did believe me. You know, we were on the verge of a, a wonderful reunion. What stopped you? Luke Spencer. Trouble in paradise? You and Slim on the outs? I wasn't arguing with Anna. Not today, anyway. Oh, I'm sensing a rough patch. Anything I can do to help? You want to help? Get Duke out of my life. Duke? Duke who? Lavery. Oh, <laughs> what possessed Anna to bring him up after all these years? She didn't, but somebody dug him up, washed him off, and he was standing here when I got home. How jet-lagged are you? I know it sounds crazy. No, I'll tell you how it sounds. It sounds like you're hammered. I wish I were. That glass belongs to the guy who's calling himself Duke. Huh. And what inspired his return to Port Charles after years of being dead? What do you think? He wants Anna. This is a very volatile and, situation. And Todd hasn't spoken with Heather Weber. Tell them. Yeah. Okay. I, I cannot believe that this is how we are spending our time, accusing Todd of... I, I don't even know what we're accusing Todd of. We should be looking for my son. Yes, we're out there. We're trying to find your son. It would help us to know when that call came in. Manning? I, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Ballpark it. Uh, no, don't remember. Take a shot, just oh, for kids. Uh, about 20 minutes ago, right? Sure, 20 minutes. Yes, 20 minutes ago, okay? Why? Because we know an hour ago, Heather Weber called Todd's phone. Don't listen to them, Pinky. Because I will never let you go. You hear me? Never. 
things will be a lot easier if you just give me the baby right now. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Hand him over like he's a sack of potatoes? Uh, Stop. It's okay. Stay back. It's okay. It's fine. It's just to be so close and to be touch him. He belongs with his mother. Then he's literally in the right hands. Because I'm your mama now. Right, sweetheart? And we're gonna be together forever. Yes, we are. Can you believe this? You, you, you tapped my phone? No, that's not accurate, Mr. Manning. We merely pulled your records. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's completely different. I don't suppose you had a warrant, given the urgency of the matter. You just thought, thought, what the hell, let's break the law? I yeah. feel violated. I feel like my constitutional rights have been violated. I, I, I should sue. You should sue. And you know what? You're gonna have plenty of time to prepare a case from prison. What are you talking about? Why would Todd be Mr. going to prison? Delgado? Yes. Surely you understand a baby's life is at stake uh, here. You honestly so didn't just we ask me did that. what we thought we should do. <sighs> and because of that, we now know that Heather was in contact with Mr. Manning. How? You didn't hear the other end of that conversation. How do you know it was Heather who made the call? John, how do we know? You came from the landline in this room. Oh. Oh, just stay back. Don't be vocal. I should have taken this little one the first night I saw him. I mean, it would have made things so much easier. The child you're holding doesn't belong to you, Heather. There's no way off this roof. Only through that door. We're not letting you leave until you give us the baby. <laughs> you're forgetting one major detail. Uh, I'm the one holding this little bundle of joy, and possession is nine-tenths of the law. So why don't you just move aside and let us go? You would have to kill me first. Problem here, Heather. I'll say this much for Spencer. He has impeccable timing. My arms are wrapped around Anna when he burst through the door and ruined everything. I warned you, Mr. Spencer would be an obstacle. When he tracked Mr. Vane to the clinic, his efforts to help her were quite heroic. I was there. I'm just saying. What exactly are you saying? Mr. Spencer arrived. What happened then? Anna left shortly afterwards. I imagine the situation was somewhat overwhelming. I was sad to see her go, but I was glad to have some time with Luke. I asked him to bow out. And? He refused. Which means I have a fight in my hands. One that I'm perfectly prepared to win. So this man... Jonathan Paget, Pretended to be Duke Lavery. Yeah, well, the real one was holed up in a Turkish prison. He should only stay there. Mm. It's a tad insensitive, don't you think? Not after the homecoming I've had. So dead Duke wants Anna back. Yeah, but this presupposes that the guy who claims to be dead Duke really is. Well, assuming that he is Duke, does that mean that their marriage is still legal? Anna remarried. Twice. Oh, but who's counting? So the ghost says he still loves her. They're still married. I should step aside so they can resume this magical experience that they had together before he kicked the bucket. To which you replied? Guess. Oh, Lukey has competition. With a cadaver. I wouldn't be surprised if he challenged me to a duel at dawn for the maiden's heart. Or, this being the 21st century, Anna could choose the man she wants. Which one do you think that'll be? Were you even present when Mr. Manning received the phone call from the private investigator? No, I'd gone to the bathroom. I was just coming back when he hung up the phone. So you didn't hear the exchange? Todd, why would your PI call you from I in here? I have no idea. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe... Maybe Heather split and my investigator broke in here so that he could investigate her privately. I thought you said your PI was tracking Heather <clears throat> to this motel room. Wouldn't he have told you when she left? Why would you show up here? Can you show Look, up everybody, just here? back off and calm down, okay? We got here as quickly as we could. There is a baby's life at stake. Why didn't you call 911? Always forget that number. I suggested that, but Todd didn't want to. Shocking. No, it's not. Heather tried to kill you. And I didn't want her to, to, to go all bananas, not around the kid. So what was the plan? You know, just grab the kid, let Taya leave with him? What do you mean, let Taya leave with him? 
doing their job and they're giving me a hard time. The only reason that you know that Crazy Pants was here is because you tapped my phone. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Because you looked at my phone records. Shut your mouth. You two 100% believe that it was Heather who called Todd? Yes. Why? Why would she do that? She needs his help. The woman kidnapped my son. Why on earth would she think that Todd would help her? Dante, put the gun down. You can't get a clean shot. You could at least pretend to be concerned about me, Jason. After all, we are just cousins. Oh, my condolences. It was very hurtful, officer. Are you still upset about that incident with your mother? If by incident, you mean when you threw her down the stairs just now, yeah, I'm not too happy about that. But hey, at least this time you didn't shoot her up. Now hand over the baby. You're so demanding. Hand over Sam's baby before someone gets hurt. You're the one who's busting through the door with your gun. You're frightening the baby. There you go. There you go, sweetheart. Everything's gonna be fine once I get rid of the mean policeman. I'm not going anywhere, Heather. Really? You might want to rethink that and go before you force me to do something I don't really want to. I don't understand. What is it that you don't want to do? Get rid of the officer. Or I'll show you. So cares deeply for Ms. Devane. You mentioned that. And from what I witnessed, she cares deeply for him. If he intends to fight. Where might that leave me? Whatever Anna's feelings are for Luke, they can't compare with the history she and I share. I care very much for Anna. And deep down, I know she feels the same way. A lot of time has passed. Things change. So do people. Your point? I just want you to be prepared for the possibility she could choose Mr. Spencer over you. Anna got herself admitted to a psychiatric hospital over there, and she found this patient, young patient who had been transferred from Ferncliff. The girls sort of fit the description of Robin, so for a while she thought Robin was alive again, but of course it wasn't Robin. Because Robin's dead. Right. And then she had to go through losing her daughter all over again, and somehow the grief of that got all mixed up with her anger towards me about having lied to Robert, and I had given him all this false hope, blah, blah, blah. So she insisted that I track him down and tell him the truth, which I did. And then when I come back here... Duke Lavery is standing in your living room. Yeah. I mean, what's going on with her, Tracy? First, she she thinks her daughter is alive. She finds out that that's a lie. And then all of a sudden, here's this dude claiming to be her dead husband. And I wonder which lover Anna's going to choose. Live Luke, who lied about Ethan being Robert's son. Yeah, I told you that I lied to keep Robert from jumping off a bridge, and it worked. Yeah but it left Anna alone to deal with Robin's death, by the way. Or, dead Duke, the dashing gangster. Who said anything about dashing? With a heart of gold, whose death caused Anna such grief, she was rendered inconsolable. Yeah, decades ago. Did she give you any indication which direction she was leaning? Anna? No, Ilsa Lund. No, she didn't give me any indication of anything. She flew out of here like a shot. She ran away? She went to work. She's up to her eyeballs, trying to find these characters, you know, perennial wacko Heather Weber and... And Joseph Scully, Jr. All right, everyone, we need to concentrate on finding Heather and the child. I completely agree. Your paranoia will just have to wait. John, I've known you for some time now. And I trust your judgment almost implicitly. That would be a mistake. But this time, I'm just not seeing it, OK? Come on. Todd and Heather Weber conspiring to, I mean, I'm not even sure what you're accusing yeah, him either. of. Either. What did I know? do? I gave, I gave Heather Weber a job. And, and then all of a sudden, he, he jumps all code red on me. Uh, 
Oh, is that true? I wish it was that simple. Listen, John, there, there, there is an explanation for that. The reason Todd hired Heather Weber is the same reason I did, out of gratitude to her for having helped save Victor's life the night he was born. There's more to it John, than that. John, really, I, I do not think this is the right I time or place. I completely agree. Let me just say, Commissioner, that when it comes time for your re-election, you can count on my I vote. don't want it. Really? OK, here goes. You want to know the truth about your boy here and Heather? No, Weber? I don't actually. You know what? I don't. If it has nothing to do with my son, I don't care. It can wait till later. It has everything to do with your son. It's okay, I got this. I'm just gonna leave her up here on this roof. No other bit. choice. I'm not gonna let anything happen to her. No police, no guns. Both will endanger this baby's life. Don't make me prove it. Tante, please just go. That's the first smart thing you've said all night. What would you do if it was your child? You would do anything to keep him safe, right? That's all I'm trying to do. Go. Look, I can talk Heather down. No one, no one can talk to her. She has our son. Find a way. That's better. Isn't that better for everyone? Yeah, we did our part, Heather. Don't do yours and give us the baby, please. Sorry. No can do. He isn't yours, Heather. That's our son. Who are you trying to kid, Jason? You never even wanted him. Six months ago, you couldn't stand the thought of this baby. And why? Because he was your twins. Your better halves. Franco was the father. And you should have been thankful. Shut up. But no. You thought he'd grow up to be crazy or something. <laughs> no. Franco wasn't crazy. He was a genius. Shut up! He got the talent, he got the brains, and he got your wife. That's enough! You know, this united front act of yours, it's very transparent, by the way. I know that your marriage is in a shambles. And why? Because of you. Your pride. This baby deserves more than a broken home. He deserves more than you as his father. You're wrong. I want him. Since when? I want him! I want my son. John, what is it? What is it that you have to tell me about my son? What the hell is going on here? All right, please, please, please calm down. Know, you, would you remain calm if your child were missing? If your child were in any danger at all? No, I would not. John, please. You're right. You deserve to know the truth. And... Since Manning won't tell you, you're gonna have to hear it from me. You know, I never thought it was possible, but Anna's grown more beautiful. It's as if all the grief and the suffering has given her a depth of character. I looked into her beautiful brown eyes, and she smiled. She melted my heart. You're quite poetic on the subject. Only when it comes to Anna. Only her. Have you considered your next step? If she chooses Luke? I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I know you don't like thinking about the prospect, but it can't hurt to be realistic. You more than all people know what I'm capable of when push comes to shove, the drastic measures. Look at Robert. So you... Shut your mouth. I want an explanation, John. What did you mean, the truth about my son? He doesn't know. He has no idea. He's just, he's wasting time. He's, 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 he's just stalling, hoping that somebody out there magically finds your kid. Don't you even suggest that my department is not taking What I'm this suggesting is that kid. this is just a huge waste of time. It is Heather's not. not here. Taya's kid is not here. It's me. Yes. Thanks. What? Don't make me guess, please. Okay. Listen to me, all right? Oh, I'm sorry to be the one to have to tell you this, Wait, all right? Yes. Someone else should really be there? doing this. 
Anyone on? The, what? The night you gave birth. Yes. Okay. What? Right. What, are you, what are you trying to tell me? They've located Heather. She has the baby. What? They're at General Hospital. Oh, my God. Is Victor okay? No, no. Well, his, his health is all right, yes. Oh, God. Thank God. Does that, does that mean I, uh, this is over? I can take him Tia, home? listen to me. <gasps> yes. No, it doesn't mean that. Tia. No, but no, no, but if he's at the hospital, then, then someone must have got, gotten him away me. from her. Listen. It is a hostage situation. <gasps> Heather has the baby on the roof of the hospital. <gasps> Just, it's all right. <gasps> Come with us. <gasps> Come on. I love Sam, and I want my son back. Well, that's a convenient change of heart. I was wrong to turn my back on him. Jesus, you no, are you, are you hearing me? I, I made a mistake. It's a little late for that, no, don't you? No, it's not. You'll never be able to forget he's Franco's. I don't care. Of course you do. You hate Franco. You're jealous of him. And you'll never be able to love his son. He's my son! And it only matters that he's here now. Sam and I want him. You know what they say. People make plans and God laughs. Heather, please, he's our baby. Please don't keep us apart. Like you kept me from Stephen Lars. You made me think my son was dead. Isn't that revenge enough? This isn't about revenge. Then what? Come on, why won't you let me have my baby? Because you don't love him. Uh, they're with us. You can let them in. We've had them under surveillance since we got here. Hey, where are you going? Victor is alone with that maniac. I, I have to be with him. Can I let you do that? He is my son. I understand. Okay? If it were Liam, would you be staying down here? Listen to me. You do not know what you're walking into up there, right? This woman is insane. I can't have you escalating the situation. Okay. I just can't stand this. Doing nothing. You're not doing nothing. You're doing what's best for the baby, okay? Okay. Okay. Keep an eye on her. Maybe we can talk for five minutes. Not now, okay? We got sharpshooters on the adjacent rooftop, but they can't risk a shot because Heather's holding on to this baby. Who's up there with her? Sam and Jason Morgan. Who the hell are they? Who the hell are Sam and Jason Morgan, and why are they with my son? You know nothing about me. I love my son more than life itself. Is that why you left him to die? I didn't... I didn't leave him. Outside? In a storm? You stole him. What were you doing out there in the woods anyway? Couldn't you be bothered to get to a hospital? I tried. Instead, you gave birth to him in a seedy motel room <laughs> with no regard for your child's there welfare. There was nothing I could do. You wanted him to die. What did you just say? You heard me. You want someone to blame for what happened that night? I'm right here. Blame me. I'm a better parent than the two of you put together. That's, that's what you want. More than anything, right? To have a child who loves you, to be a mother. If you let me, I can help make that happen. Do you know who Sam and Jason are? Not very well. Heather was getting agitated. I had to leave or risk something happened to that kid. Oh, God. This can't go on any longer. We need to get that baby down. Heather becoming less stable by the minute. How do you want to do this? She needs to be made aware of her options. Give me that thing. Hope we don't set her off. This isn't about my son, Heather. It's about yours. I mean, you want, you want Stephen Lars in your life. You want the chance to be his mother. Who took away that chance? I did. I did. It was all my fault, and I will make it up to you. I will go in there right now and smooth things over. I promise. I will tell them that everything you did, all the mistakes you made, you did it because you love them. I don't believe you. He already said it was too late. No. No, it's never too late. Give me my baby, and I'll give you Steve. Stephen Lars. Stephen Lars. Why would he listen to you? Why should I believe you? He will, I promise. I will make him listen to me. He will forgive you. You can start over. All you have to do is give me my baby. Heather Weber, this is under the bank, police commissioner. 
The hospital is surrounded. There is no way out. If you cooperate and surrender the baby immediately, we can work out some form of lenience. There is no other option, Heather. You need to give up the baby now. About my personal life, how is our newest patient? An absolute travesty, like a like a toddler stitched him up. I asked about his condition. I didn't ask for your opinion. Whoever tended to that man should have the license revoked. But he's alive. That's right. And fit as a fiddle. I have to go up there, Todd. There's nothing you can do. I need to be with my son. He needs me, not these strangers. Hey. Please, I'm his mother. Please, I'm his mother, Todd. Please. You heard the commissioner. There's nothing left to do except give us the baby. This isn't how it was supposed to be. He was supposed to be long gone by now. I will talk to Anna myself. I'll make sure she goes easy on you and she keeps her promise. We just have to get you back to the motel. That's all. There'll be someone there to meet us with money and passports. And we'll get you someplace safe. It's not gonna happen now, Heather. The only way you're gonna leave is with the police escort. Heather, please. Please, let me have my baby. Please, Heather. 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 There's not a choice here. You're right. It's over. If I can't have this baby. Oh. Nobody can. No! Please, God, no!